Hey Earth Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. These messages are uh, general, so just please take what fits, leave what don't. And let's see what we got going on here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, the Seven of Cups. The world. The eight of swords. The queen of cups and five of pentacles. And the page of cups. The connection, three for the connection, please. Thank you. The nine of wands, the eight of cups, one more. The page of pentacles. Bottom of the deck and shared energy is the empress, the chariot, and the ace of cups. Holy cow. Empress is clarified with the chariot and the ace of cups. So this connection um, that you are dealing with, Well, you guys have shared energy. You do have the opportunity to create something new and, and um, I want to say innocent, but it's not innocent. It's like there could have been some uh, bullshit in the past between you guys. Uh, this could have been started out as a third party. Um, you or them being the third party. But you're moving away from that energy. Um, the need of self-love for both of you, the confidence um, needs to be um, worked on. You are moving forward, however, and allowing the universe to take you where the, it may. Um, with that Empress, uh, we got Taurus here. Uh, you're taking control. You're no longer begging them to stay. You're no longer asking them not to leave. You're no longer chasing anybody. You're sitting back, you're focusing on that self-love, and you're allowing the universe to bring you in whatever um, is meant to be. So your energy is the seven of cups in the past. You were, There's a lot of confusion. Um, you could have been trying to make somebody believe something that was not the case. Um, you could have had more than one option. Did I just see it? Yeah. Uh, and you were very slow to make a decision. Uh, the person you're dealing with, they felt like in the past you hurt them. You left them out in the cold. You could have been with somebody else and you left them and went back to somebody because you did have a lot of options here. You were confused. You didn't know what to do um, with it being in your energy. So you didn't know what was real, what was fake. You didn't know what, um, how to proceed forward to get what it is that you truly wanted. Um, and it did break some hearts here, especially the person that you're now connected with. Why is the five of pentacles here? Could have been fearing financial hardship. Could have feared um, allowing yourself to, yeah. Wow, look at this. They have the three of cups, the four of cups, and the seven of swords. Most definitely you were dealing with somebody that you lived with that was not this person. There was a lot of sneakiness, a lot of, they were the third party, and they felt like you were holding back from them. They felt like you were hiding things from them. They most definitely felt hurt and betrayed. And now it's affecting the current relationship. Now that you're with this person, you have completed another cycle. You have left behind what it was that was keeping the two of you apart. Um, Queen of Swords, Justice. Yeah, so you did um, separate from somebody else. However, whoever you were connected to um, in a marriage or a long-term commitment where you shared a home together, they're not quite ready to let you go. And this person can feel that from what I'm seeing. Why is the Queen of Cups here for Earth Signs persons? Yeah, so even though they have a lot of deep love for you, um, I mean, their love runs deep. It's true. It's real. They've offered you this. There is a part of this connection that is going away. It is ending. They are going through a major life transformation and a major life cycle. They're no longer going to focus on the spilled three cups of the past because you did. they did have that in the past. They're going to focus on their love for you. They're waking up to some sort of 
uh, situation. Why is it Eight of Swords here in the future? However, you feel like you're trapped. You feel like you can't get out of something. Nine of Swords. Yeah, most definitely. You need to release whoever this is that has a hold of you still. Um, you could have been, you could be broke up with them. You could be divorced from them, whatever. But they still have a hold on you. They still have a tie to you. They still use something to pull you back in. Could be children's. Could be, a, you know, you own a business together. Um, it could be many things. But something keeps pulling you back. And it's making this person feel like no matter how much love they offer you, you keep putting them last. You need to pick a path. Oh, geez. Yeah, you need to pick a path and leave the other in the past. You can still raise your children uh, and not have to jump when they say jump. You can still run a business and do it without having to cater to the person of the past. They're really taking some time to think about, are they going to continue to offer you this love? Um, there could be a lot of conflict that's being arose because of this. Um, in the energy of the relationship in the past... This person felt very guarded, or you did. They felt like, the two of you have felt like you had to fight for this relationship. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Oh, we got two, Nine of Cups and Three of Pentacles. Yeah, most definitely. You had to fight for your relationship. You had to fight for the opportunity for this to work. But all your hard work is paying off because there is a wish coming true here. With the Eight of, Pen or Eight of Cups, you're leaving what didn't work behind. Uh, moving towards an more spiritual, Wow. Wow, the Empress, bottom of the deck. So this is a huge movement in this relationship. You are going to offer your love to this person. I don't know if they're going to, I don't know what they're going to do though. Let's see, a page of pentacles. Is a page going to be enough? You know, they're the Empress. Wow, they're the Empress. You're going to have to come in with a big offer, Earth sign, or this person, you run the risk of this person walking away. Um, give me one more for the empress you're coming in as the page they're coming in as the empress and there was a lot of hurt within this connection two of pentacles yeah there's a lot of juggling there is a new opportunity here but you got to be honest and get out of that whatever is holding you back with that eight of swords whatever's holding you back you need to allow it to crumble to fall to cut that connection because by you holding back this person you run the risk of this person walking away if you want the ten of cups with this person most definitely you're going to have to put in some work or signs you have beautiful blessings on the horizon, but you have to cut out the bullshit, or they do. Remember, this can always be vice versa, but the double eight of cups in the current energy, this person is contemplating walking away, or you are, and it's uh, they're on the brink of letting go because they're pulling the empress energy, and you're pulling the page. There's a huge energy difference there where, they, um, where you're not putting in enough. You're not offering enough. With the seven of pentacles, work needs to be done on this connection. Remember, it can be vice versa, so... Um, you know, just flip the roles if it's the other way around, but, uh, someone needs to step up their game if this is going to move forward. Remember what was in the bottom of the deck, the Empress, which sometimes the mistress, or it can be you Taurus. Um, but they're contemplating leaving because they're, they love themselves enough to know that they need to be valued. They need to be loved. And if they're not getting it, then with the chariot and the two eight of cups, you're running the risk of losing a beautiful connection here, Earth Science, or they are. Somebody needs to step up their game and offer um, more to the connection before this comes crumbling down. So if you want to save it and you're the one not putting in a whole lot, start putting in some more effort. Um, if it's the other way around, be open and honest and express that you need more or you're going to have to walk away because you know your value. And if you're not getting it, you're prepared to walk. So... All right, Earth Science, I hope you have a beautiful day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. God bless.